Hey, so I'm in my backyard um, looking to uh, clean up a little bit. And what did I find? But a, uh, a gross, disgusting dog poop. And this is kind of like, you know, this analogy from Martin Luther made me think about how he said that our sin is like poop in the ground that the snow covers fresh and makes white pure as as snow it's a theological analogy um and it's gonna snow tomorrow so i don't want this poop to get covered by the snow you know so what do i do i i go back here and i i pick up the poop um i scoop it up so that uh, i don't end up having little landmines all over my backyard and this kind of is a good analogy for the kingdom of god god does not want a pile of poop covered by snow in the kingdom in heaven um and if you think about it really what is heaven it's going to be a perfect place free from sin free from concupiscence free from any flaws a perfect place where we want to spend eternity and so why would god let any thing imperfect into his kingdom even though jesus did die for our sin and in that way uh, like the psalms say he does cover our sin and, and make us as white as snow um, he does atone for our sin more accurately um, we still need to work on ourselves we still need to purify ourselves and confess our sins and try to you know pick up the poop so to speak so just wanted to share that analogy i don't know what your thoughts on it those of you who are listening but um i, th I think you know god really wants us to have a clean backyard <laughs> um where we're not going to step in anything on accident and he wants us to continually you know groom our, our landscape so to speak and um just work on on the lawn, on the plants, on, on, on the rocks. You know, I find myself back here all the time. My wife gives me grief about, you know, nitpicking on the, on the rocks and the coverage of the rocks and everything. But, you know, we should be likewise paying the same attention to our soul or even more importantly, the state of our soul. And so that's why we do need um, good works, not to earn our way into heaven, but to bring ourselves closer to God so that we can fully accept the gifts and the sacrifice that he made for us. Like St. Paul said, I rejoice in my sufferings. I rejoice in, in what is lacking in myself so that I can make up for um, what is, is lacking in the sacrifice of Christ. It's not that Christ's sacrifice was imperfect. It's that we are incapable of perfectly receiving it because of our flaws. And so that's where our sacrifice needs to, in our, in our suffering, uh, needs to play a role, is uh, we need to offer that up to God to allow us to draw closer to Christ, to experience, you know, in a way, the same suffering he experienced, to identify more with him, so that we can likewise receive the full um, intent and benefits of his sacrifice, so that it's not just covering up our sin like a, a thin coat of fresh snow it's removing what's under the snow what's not supposed to be there the, the poop so to speak so um let's keep working on that just want to give you some encouragement god bless